Hello guys, and welcome to another video, and Nintendo just released the Booster Course Pass Wave 2 for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, that includes the Turnip Cup and Propeller Cup, so let's go ahead and check it out. So this is the Turnip Cup, so let's go ahead and get started. So with the Booster Course Pass Wave 2, I do feel like they did make some improvements, I do feel like the textures do look a little better, but there are a couple tracks that still don't look great. This one I do think looks good. I do really like the Tour City tracks, like the way that they were brought into this game. And the fact that they're being preserved in this game I feel like is pretty good, even though I'm mostly critical of the Booster Course Pass. Aside from a few textures, I do feel like this looks generally pretty nice. And I like this track and tour, so it's great to see it here. So this was actually the, the first track that was in tour. Like, since it was a part of the first tour with Pauline. Okay. It is a little disappointing that Pauline isn't in this game, like, or they're not adding any new characters in general. I definitely feel like the DLC would have benefited from new characters. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you went inside the building here. I didn't play that variant of Tor before, or that Tor variant. Because I know the tracks have different variants in Tor. Okay, it hit me right after I finished. Okay. Okay, so on to the next track. Okay, so... Yeah, Mario Circuit 3 I'm not really a fan of. I definitely feel like this track could have gotten a lot more work in terms of, like, textures and things. Because it's very basic. And, I mean, it's fine to have some basic tracks here and there, but I feel like at least it could have gotten a visual overhaul. Um, kind of like Donut Plains and SNES Rainbow Road. And the music, too, even though they're doing, like, a nostalgic thing here, I feel like they really could have done, like, a new remix. Yeah, but, like, it just mostly looks like the... I mean, I know these are mostly ripped from Tor, but, I mean, I feel like you can feel it especially here. Kind of like Toad Circuit. I feel like one track, um out of every wave is gonna have a toad circuit, basically, or a track that, like, definitely looks out of place. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna save this mushroom for the shortcut, wherever that is. I think that's up here. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm not really a fan of this track, but... I guess they're just gonna add, a, like, a basic track every time. With how they're structuring the waves and everything. I do wish they put, like, a little more effort into it, like, the music actually have a big band remix. Or do, like, a, um... Have, like, more of a visual upgrade as well. Calamari Desert. Okay, I do like this track. I did, I did like the tour version of it. And I do feel like they definitely upgraded a lot of the textures here. So I think this one is definitely a little better. The music is good too. I wonder if they're going to do the thing from tour where they actually have you, like, drive on the tracks. Oh, I think they are actually. Yeah, because they're doing, like, a, um, they have the arrows there. That is actually one thing that I really liked about the tour variant of Calamari Desert. That you could actually, like, go on these different paths and everything. Yeah, but... The remix is really good, like the music and everything. <laughs> Still have to wait for the train. Oh, they added the tour. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, they added like the tour um things there. Cause they they have those in tour the. I wonder if you bounce off of the train this time like you did in tour. Probably not. I'm not doing very good this time. Okay. Yeah, it is like tour. You go, you actually drive on the tracks. That is really cool. Yeah, I do think the tour variant was a good version to use. Like, I do feel like the textures do look a little better this time as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like that this track was definitely handled a lot better than Mario Circuit. I just feel like, yeah, I feel like, I mean, the, some of the textures could use a little work, like always. But I do like how they handled that one. I do feel like that was kind of creative, how they kind of incorporated the different versions. Okay, Waluigi Pinball. Yeah, Waluigi Pinball is one of my favorite Mario Kart tracks of all time. So it's nice to see it here. I do feel like the textures here, like the more simplistic textures, are a little more fitting. I wouldn't say so for most of the tracks, but this is like the one track where I'd say, like, they're, they're kind of passable. So it uses the Wario Stadium remix. I, I know some people had a problem with that, but I don't mind. I honestly don't mind that much. I mean, it would have been better if we got, like, a new remix, but... I feel like it's kind of expected from Nintendo to just reuse the same one. Since Mario Kart DS did the same. But it's, yeah, it's nice to see Waluigi Pinball here. Like I said, it's one of my favorite tracks in the series. I saw some people, like, actually mod um, the tour version of Waluigi Pinball into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Though, I do feel like here there's definitely, like, um, 
you could see that they improved the lighting and everything, so... It seemed like they improved some things from the, um... Weird how they don't have the anti-gravity here. I feel like that would have been really fitting on this course. Hey, I'm falling behind. I didn't know I was going to hit that. Okay. I thought I was out of the, um, hitbox of it. Okay. Well, it's my first time playing these in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. Okay. So that was the Turnip Cup. I thought it was pretty solid overall, aside from Mario Circuit 3. I feel like they were handled fairly well this time. Even though I have a problem with the textures, I do feel like they were handled fairly well. Hey. So let's check out the Propeller Cup. Okay, so Sydney Sprint, another city track. I think they're all going to start with city tracks, um, seeing the trend here. I hope they add Vancouver Velocity. I really like that track, especially the music in it. The music here is really good, too. Wait, that was kind of weird. You could clearly see that they were using the, um, 2D sprites for the, um, the crowd. That was kind of weird. I feel like that should be hidden a little better. Yeah, the paths change again. I thought that was cool how in, um, tour that they have, like, those boats that you can kind of go through on some of the city tracks. I like some of the background elements here. I think some of the city tracks um, kind of rely more heavily on the background elements, but but they're still like pretty good overall. Okay, I feel like this part of the track opens up a little bit. Okay, I really like how it kind of loops around like that, like the, and kind of has different paths overall. Okay. 
Okay, now we're going over here through the theme park. Yeah, that's weird with the, um, the sprites and everything. Okay. Ooh, I just got third place, like, at the last second. Okay, I didn't really time the super horn pretty well. Okay, Snowland. Okay, I do think this looks a little better um, compared to most of the tracks. I do feel like the textures were definitely better implemented here. Like, even though it was clearly originally from Tor, I feel like they handled this a lot better. Like, this actually does feel like a revamped, um, like, this actually does feel revamped pretty well from the GBA version and everything. The penguins were a nice touch, too. Like, I feel like textures like this should really be the bare minimum for, um, the booster course pass. The remix is pretty good, too. Yeah, I feel like this is a pretty solid track overall. Definitely looks visually a lot better than the others. Okay, so there we go. That's GBA Snowland. Okay, Mushroom Gorge, another one that I like. Since it's originally from Mario Kart Wii, Yeah, this is another, um, fan favorite along with, um, Waluigi Pinball. Yeah, I do like the glider section there. I think... I'm not sure if Mario Kart 7 had that, because I know this is this version is from Mario Kart Tour, but it also had a variant in Mario Kart 7.
Okay. I feel like the mushrooms are a little different to trick off of than on the other variants. Well, I mean, due to the nature of Mario Kart 8, but it's kind of interesting. Okay, so now that this is the new one, Sky High Sunday. So this was probably meant to be one of the original tour tracks, um, kind of like Ninja Hideaway. Well, they're obviously probably not going to be marketed to this tour, but this one actually appeared in the Booster Course Pass first, which is pretty interesting. And this one actually has um, anti-gravity, so... I think if you bump into the railings, it kind of gives you the boost. It kind of fell off there, that was kind of weird. like the aesthetic of this track overall. I think this is the first track in the Booster Course Pass that actually has anti-gravity. Do you feel like it could be optimized for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe a little better? Because there are some areas that do feel a little wonky, but... Kind of interesting how the railing does give you that boost there. Yeah, this track is fun, but I do feel like it could be optimized a little better. Because it was clearly originally meant for, for Tor. Okay! So, that's Booster Course Pass Wave 2. I would say that's definitely an improvement from Wave 1. Pretty solid overall. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And make sure to join my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.